Hey everyone, welcome back to Stellaris. We're playing as the Church of Scientology, and right now we're having a look at our first complete. colony, the Zala world. An ocean world, very large, with extra habitability, habitability due to complete. this sea of consciousness. Uh, we have already gotten the uh, psionic theory technology from uh, this planet, and perhaps we're going to get some other bonuses as well. We'll see. It is a um, frontier planet right now, and it is, um, yeah, with... Um, our foremost, I guess, fortress station. I don't know, uh, it's not yet a fortress, but we have close to 1,000 fleet strength here. That is, yeah, more than double what our actual fleet has right now. So this is a significant portion of our of our military might, and it is necessary because I believe the Itstran will declare war on us, although they're no longer overwhelming. They're still overwhelming in fleet power, but overall, they're only superior, so that's good. If it isn't Church of Scientology, what have you come to offer us today? What lies, what scams, what empty promises? Interesting. Well, either way, I'm going to go ahead and declare a rivalry because we're never going to be friends with them. Let's 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 be honest here. So I might as well get the monthly influence from them. And, you know, they already hate us anyways. And we might as I mean, we could insult them. I think I'm not actually going to do that right now. But yeah. I guess I guess it's just because it doesn't give us any benefits. We're gonna build the research station here and we can go for new ambition. I think we should go for ship build cost is reduced, ship build speed is increased. We could save a little bit of cost here. Hold on, I'm gonna go with the master ship rights and I'm going to stop one two and let's go ahead. Wait. It costs the same? That's weird. Oh, we didn't get anything from it. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should. Uh, I'm an idiot. I guess I should have um, stopped it uh, before I clicked the tradition. That we would have gotten the full price back that we paid. So I think, yeah, we didn't get anything right now. Alright. Yeah, whatever. Y you know, I guess you know what I wanted to do. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Are we still... So, hold on. Are we still building everything I wanted to do, build? No, I think the colony ship is still something I wanted to do. And I, I'm not sure if the numbers are correct right now. But I guess we'll figure this out. Okay, cool. Anyway, so our colony's on the way. Uh, we're expanding a little bit. We are still researching. I, I guess we can move on fast. Is there anything that we've forgotten? Right, there's still the precursors that we're going to check out. Um, but I'm not going to be doing that right System now. Uh, this ship is done. I guess, um, well, that's level 4. We're only level 2 here. Let's go ahead and have you explore automatically as well. Why not? Um, yeah, there's nothing special in this system. Construction complete. This construction ship is done. Um, do we have... What's our cohesion like? Hold on. What's... Our cohesion is 100. Okay. So we can afford to skip... Do I want to go here? Do I want to go here? It... Yeah, you know what? Actually... Hmm... Let's... Let's go here. Let's go into this direction. Anomaly so we can found. get some of these planets here. Okay, challenging. We're going to leave that be for now. The spirits have granted us new and a new wisdom. technology. Now, what next? This Anomaly is going to give us found. robots. And not the challenging one that we're going to leave be for now. Corvette hull points. Seems like a good idea. Yeah, we probably need that. Alright, let's go for that. Awesome. Okay, we have 17. And let's build... Actually, I'll probably do that here. Let's build three more. Perfect. Okay. So System far, so good. What do you say complete. now? Still overwhelming. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess that's how it is. Okay, this has been surveyed. There's another... Oh, it's a desert world. Alright. Hmm. 700 System fleet strength. Survey complete. And our chairman has leveled up. Level 4. Cool. And we've discovered a new archaeological site. Strange flowers. I don't even know where that is. Oh. Delta aliens. 
Oh, these are space amoeba. Okay, that's fine. Investigate them. They shouldn't be hostile. Why are they hostile? That seems strange. Hmm. All right. Well, whatever. And where's this digging site, though? Can I figure this out? Belgium. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right next System to us. I like that. Survey complete. Hmm. What should be a normal molten planet is a science ship sensors glitch un is making the science ship's sensors glitch uncontrollably. Okay. And more systems are being System surveyed. survey complete. Okay, this survey has been complete and our colony ships has has been done as well. So let's um, colonize the planet with the COS Knossos. There we go. Uh, Jessemia Prime, we're going to call it for now. Although there's industrial wasteland over here. Ah, right, right, because metal bone yards. The hollowed out metal skeletons of fallen infrastructure seem almost too... Hold on, let's check out the planetary features that we have here. Obviously, we've got this, the robots, right? Um, so we're starting out with a lot more workers. I mean, population. We're actually gonna, you know what? We're gonna start out with six population. We're gonna have immediately, uh, we'll be able to build a building. Uh, once we, uh, yeah, once we establish our colony, that's actually kind of cool. But yeah, let me quickly check these features while the game moves forward. So we've got impassable mountains, dangerous wildlife, that's normal. But then city ruins. Once a great city, now just a metal boneyard stretching as far as the eye can see. Okay, and then this. This region is covered by ruined industrial complexes and toxic soil. Okay, frozen gas lake. And then we've got, okay, we've got this again. Now, Dust Desert, a vast expanse of sand and that covers scattered pockets of rare and valuable volatile moats. Ooh! Mo Max Moat Harvesting Traps. That's interesting. Ah, that's a rare resource. Bubbling Swamp, a hotbed of aquatic plants, insects, and swamp gas. This wetland is characterized by slow-moving water and ri rich vegetation. Then we've got these metal boneyards, extra mining districts. The hollowed out metal skeletons of fallen infrastructure seem almost too grown. Seem almost, oh, seem almost too grown as the wind whistles through them. Scary. With little precipitation, extreme, extreme temperatures and limited vegetation, these sandy deserts are hostile. Prosperous Mesa, rich mountain and lush jungle. Okay. Cool. Some interesting features for sure. Do we have any interesting features here other than this sea? Evading heretics. Um, a hostile fleet. Um, oh. Yeah. These are the... Oh, man. Didn't I do that? No, we are investigating. It's just not done yet. Okay. Well, that's kind of annoying. I hope that we're going to be friendly with them because, yeah, that's always kind of weird. Um, okay. We'll just be moving on. We have to evade them for now. There's nothing we can do. I don't want to be destroyed. Actually, slow down. I do want to see what we're at right now. Still overwhelming, unfortunately. Okay. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. We're at fleet cap. Obviously, we can go over the fleet cap. But, yeah, I don't System think I will. Okay, complete. and we need to build a new... Well, we actually need to build a lot. We have a new building slot that we can go for. And I actually believe we're going to have to go for some civilian industries. Yeah, because we're actually lacking this a lot. So let's go for that. And I guess a new generator district because we're just lacking the energy credits. It's crazy, but that's the way it is. Okay, and you need to upgrade as well. Let's see. What, what is it that, that we are upgrading? Let me, let me check. We don't have any new weapons. We don't have anything new. I don't, I don't know what we're upgrading precisely, but all right, I'll do it. And a new archaeological site. Fossilized remains from several different species. Special project complete. Oh my god, space amoebas. The entities encountered by our fleets some time ago are new space-born life forms. Quickly nicknamed space amoeba, following an analyst's gross misreading of initial sensor output, the creature is in fact larger than the average Scientology Corvette. Despite its apparent ornivorous... Further studies warranted. We can remotely monitor the creature and its kin from Earth. Situation okay, let's study updated. them and let's hopefully become friends with them eventually. Now, fossilized remains, where is this? 
Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter to us then. This is not going to be within our reach for some time. But I can say our for sure. Our ships have been improved. Okay, ships have been improved and administrative AI. Now, we can go for the new laser, which we probably should. I'm first uh, probably going to go for this, though. That will help us with our... With all of our tech Construction um, complete. in the future. Okay, you are done here. Let's get the research station going. And in the Haldus system, wherever that may be, where is that? Huh? That's not Haldus. Where is my spaceship from up here? Oh, there you go. Um, interesting. Let's investigate them too. But it's going to wait. Uh, it's going to take some time before we'll be able to do that. It's so strange. I don't like how when, you're, when your ship is mid-jump, it's not there. It's a, That's a very strange. I know, maybe that makes sense, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Because you can't see it on the map. So you're like wondering where, where the hell is this system. Alright, I guess you're not meant to pause right away, like I you, I do. I pause a lot, so, makes sense. Yeah, anyways, our second colony ship is on the way. And our I second colony will found. begin. Uh, an abandoned ship has been left complete. to drift aimlessly above this planet. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it... Re Anomaly found. It... what? It relied on solar power. Okay, research that. And then we have another anomaly here. Signs of activity by an ancient precursor. Okay, we're going to leave that be for now. We'll definitely check that out soon, though. And then I do want to move on to this one because I like to have these archaeological sites on the control. And if we, you know, go System expand all the way over here, complete. we'll have a nice uh, chokehold as well, just like we do here. And then um, we have two chokeholds, basically west and east. And then we'll just need one for north. And, yeah, I mean, we could go take this one. That's fine. But, actually, I mean, we'll definitely have to take this one. Yeah, because it's... All right, fine. Okay, Solar Sailor. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around this planet. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tier where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, um, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. Okay, that's good. And then by chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during complete. the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? I guess we'll find out. And we are receiving a transmission from the Independent Space Station of the Curator Order. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Ah, greetings, star travelers. We are the Curators. Our ancient order was established eons ago by the various galactic powers in ascendancy at the time. We are dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge in an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass extinction and barbarism. We failed. Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred mission than our predecessors were. We're willing to share some of our knowledge with you for a price. Well met. Interesting. Very cool. Let's check them out immediately. Because so far, you know, we haven't met a whole lot of friendly people. Wait, who are you guys again? Who are, who are you? Oh. These guys. Right. Okay. But yeah. We haven't actually technically made contact with them yet. Okay, so let's communicate with the curators here. And um, yeah, I definitely want them to aid us in our research. Uh, we are prepared to offer you limited access to our extensive data banks for a period of 10 standard years. This should provide a significant boost to the research efforts of your planet site science labs. Very good. Yeah, 1000, we're definitely going to go for that. A wise choice that future generations of humans will no doubt laud you for. Yes. I hope so too. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and build some research stations first, then we'll build the rest. Awesome. Okay, let's move on a little bit as well. Mm, okay, so far this system has not been claimed by the Strand. I don't know why. 
Uh, we already have a border anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. And they haven't expanded here either. I'm not quite sure why. Neither have they expanded here. Maybe there's something. A mummified pilot. Uh, the mummified pilot remains... Mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species have been found drifting in high orbit. The being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit complete, complete with a helmet and maybe a fighter pilot that ejected in some ancient battle, only to be forgotten and left behind. A study of the corpse has provided some interesting data. Tragic fate. Indeed. Right, build that new mining station there. And how's our colony doing? I actually totally didn't even see. Alright, it's still... Right, we're still... Um... Yeah. It's gonna take some time, right. So, base growth speed reduced by 50% because it's been newly colonized, that's fine. But yeah, we do have workers here that are not doing anything right now. These robots exist in a non in a state of non-sapient servitude. Construction but complete. Do we have They're unemployed, the right? Faithful okay. Have a new world. And we have established a colony of Zala. Very cool. Very cool indeed. And they're 100% spiritualists. Well, there's only two people. Okay, very good. So, hmm. What do we do, or what do we need first? We get extra research here. Um, hmm, extra research. We have a little bit of housing, not that much. Interestingly. All right, but that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna be fine. We need energy credits. So I think I get, we're gonna have to go with the generator district here. Yeah, we just need those credits, man. We need those credits. Okay, and then, actually, I mean, hold on. System survey complete. I don't know if it, if it's costing us upkeep to colonize. It used to be like that. Who knows? Oh yeah, this is cool. And then, yeah, here we're gonna have six population immediately. We'll see what we do. Maybe this is going to be like a mining world. I don't know. I mean, there is a lot of potential mining districts here, right? Yeah. Well, there's actually a lot of generated districts too. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, moving on. Faster. See what's happening. Mm. Are we studying those guys? Yes. It's going to take some time. What? How's our technology doing? Stopped, unfortunately. Yeah. Not making a whole lot of progress. How are you guys feeling about us? Overwhelming still. Okay. Yeah, please just don't declare war. Complete. I'd be happy. System survey okay, complete. we're going to go ahead and claim this system too. Our sprawl is fine. Multiplied due to empire cohesion. But that's fine. We're still under our administrative cap. So it's all good. And our ships are doing their things on their own. So that's perfect. And our governor has leveled up. Construction complete. Okay. And the planet has finished construction. Anomaly found. So despite the toxic content and high pressure on its planet's atmosphere, strong life signs have been detected coming from the surface. Let's research that. And a new strategic resource has been discovered. Hmm. Interesting. Is this the Zenghe? No. During its survey of Edema 4, if only I knew where these planets were. Oh, there we go. Or these systems. A tomb world. Ah, I see. Uh, several exotic gases, previously unknown to us. These gases have a variety of different uses, particularly in the operation of advanced energy-based weaponry and force complete. fields. Some of the gases can also be used as starship fuel or even as recreational drugs. Well, we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, right? Okay, that's the normal thing. Okay. Um, perfect. You, please go ahead and build a station. Although toxic to most... Forms of known life, Edema 4 supports a thriving ecology within the high pressure of its atmosphere. Life here uses ammonia instead of water as a solvent and has developed in ways that differ significantly from previously established ecological models. Its study would greatly benefit our knowledge of xenobiology. Cool. 
All right, we're still in the negative the when it comes to energy credits. Luckily, we have a huge, huge stockpile. And you're done. I wonder, should we continue? Who have we found here? Oh, this is the Cuitas. Uh, okay, they're actually not that... Wait, who are you guys? You have two stations? Huh. Cuita Enclave Station. And Cuita Alpha Enclave. Interesting. Huh. Well, if we, if we build a starbase, like if we claim the system and they're part of our, like, realm, we can build, you know, some cool buildings. So maybe that's the way to go. But that would mean we have to go towards... Well, actually, that's fine. Maybe that's, maybe that's the way to go. Maybe that is the way to go. I think... Well, we can't really expand in this direction. We can expand up here. Um, yeah, you know what? I will go and claim this system. And then maybe this Alpine World 2. Let's get, go for new technology. Um, basic combat roles. Yeah, let's do that. All right, interesting. So we've got our second colony. We've got three colonies or three planets right now. Well, this one is still not done. We need a name for this one too, the Gaia world that we have. And, um, but yeah, so we're actually pretty well set up at the moment, I would say. We need a little bit more food, I, I see right now. Okay, but maybe we're going to get some food here from these guys. Um, and yeah, so that's... That's pretty cool right now. So far, we have not been attacked. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. That will give us more time to build up. And I think eventually we'll be able to defend ourselves. I'm not feeling... I'm actually not too scared at the moment. Maybe I should be. Because they're still overwhelming. But I have a better feeling now than I did just a couple years ago. So, anyways, that was it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.